Welcome to Switch Corner, my name is Alex and today we're going to be taking a look at Grand Mountain Adventure Wonderlands on the Nintendo Switch. A relaxed ski and snowboard experience, I loved the look of it but how does it play and does it pack enough content to keep you coming back? Well hit subscribe and join us here on Switch Corner for reviews and deals near daily and let's get started. No story with this one, so straight into gameplay and you'll open the game with the option to ski or snowboard across a single location in Austria. With progression though, you'll unlock 12 different locations that take you all over the world. While I wouldn't call them visually varied given the fact you know it's snowy mountains, they definitely still come with some unique objects built in and run styles. The game it's all about a relaxing pace, even getting to a ski lift requires you to traverse this world and jump on yourself. Once you visit a ski lift or run, fast travel will open up which is appreciated. But I actually really enjoyed this sense of discovery in each location. It just does a good job of establishing the scale of these you know, mountains and the runs you are about to face. Controls then couldn't be more simple as skiing or snowboarding, move the left stick left to right to gain speed and turn. A is break, B allows you to jump, Y you can randomly slap other skiers that get in your way and then you can quick turn, drift turn and switch to forwards. You can also then perform tricks in air, think like flips, spins, you can rewind the game with the press of the X button though it jumps back a preset amount of time and finally you can change the zoom of the camera between three options. It's also worth noting on that last point though, fail or run, quickly tapping X takes you back to the beginning so do not worry about going through the whole process of you know, getting back to the start or fast travelling somewhere near, it gives you that quick replay option. The idea of the game though, it's really simple, compete in a range of offence, earn ski tickets and use these to unlock new ski lifts that advance you further up the mountain or even eventually unlock that next mountain range. Offend types then are typically solo, there's no real competitive let's say race types but it's more time attack pulling off tricks following unmarked pathways down the mountain and there's an absolute ton of them in here. They are each ranked as well based upon difficulty which tends to translate here to the path being narrower and typically requiring a larger understanding of the controls. It's an addictive formula though and while it's not high score chasing you will be awarded for many offends a bronze, silver and gold as well as a countdown to 100%. There's just a ton of gameplay in here to keep you coming back and I've particularly been enjoying this one in handhelds. So for those that don't know then it started life on iOS and sees its translation to the Nintendo Switch but it honestly feels like a great fit for the system. It's also then been expanded with new controls, a visual overhaul and new locations so don't think this is just a straight port. From what I understand it's near double the content. Problems very few, the getting on ski lifts takes a little bit of practice, that prompt to press A to kind of jump on occasionally didn't seem to show up for me and then directing our skier that's going to take a little bit of practice when your view is obscured. Also then the menus for the most part they are fine but it took me a little while to learn how to switch between skis and snowboards. The game has very little in the way of tutorials. Turns out to access this menu you need to press start then the minus button that will open your backpack. Here you can change between carving skis, twin tip skis, carving board and twin tip board. You can also look at replays here, activate a send mode and look through a telescope if you fancy an elevated first person viewpoint which honestly it's particularly impressive. It makes you wish in fact the game had a third person mode too. The final issue that I noted, the hard runs, most of them are fine but just occasionally it seemed to rely on simply obscuring what you could see and that felt a little bit if anything cheap. I had a few particularly frustrating runs that kept on screwing me over. Overall though look I think this is a fun little ski and snowboard experience and I particularly enjoyed the more relaxed pacing over the typical you know extreme sports vibe. The game also packs a multiplayer mode, this is definitely more competitive where you can race, you can compete for those high scores when it comes to tricks, unfortunately though for today's review I was unable to test it. 
Graphically, I think it's great. It's simplistic, low poly often, but it's just so stylistic. Our character has a nice amount of animation. The mountains, as I said, enough to represent the kind of location in the world we are skiing at. And the foliage is particularly standout. It's moving in the wind. It's both kind of peaceful, but also intimidating, given the fact I often went headfirst into it. The time of day then changes, making for a nice change in the visual color palette. The winner though, visually, it's got to be the snow, seeing the carved lines. It looks fantastic, and I found a weird amount of satisfaction in trying to simply draw different pictures in the snow, because yes, I am that immature. Few complaints though, menus feel maybe a little bit dated, and I wish there was some cosmetic options, but overall, great stuff. You can also randomly opt for 30 or 60 frames per second in the options menu, though I'm not sure why you would ever want to select 30. Audio finally, and the music is extremely chill, but it works playing into the freedom of the setting, and there's some minor sound effects as well. I think collisions or different environmental objects. Like the rest of the game, it's kind of minimalistic, but I really liked it. The highlight though was the sound of carving through the snow. It all plays into the almost meditative-like gameplay style. Also, the music, really chill, really good stuff. And if you like it enough to listen to it offline, this game packs a jukebox so you can go listen to the tracks without actually playing the game. That is in the options. And yeah, you can even opt for track names to display as you play, so you know what to go looking for. So the final verdict and grand mountain adventure Wonderlands is a meditative ski and snowboard experience that was highly regarded on phones, and I can see why. It's simplistic, controls-wise, it lets you focus on the exploration and the challenge of the runs, but it never forces you to do anything. Often, I simply explored and enjoyed the world and music, and that's kind of the part of the game that really stuck with me. It has a few problems, though, and no question the gameplay is repetitive, but I've really been enjoying it. I've spent a lot of time with this one in handheld now, and I do foresee I'll be jumping into it for a long time to come. The only issue I haven't mentioned here then, and I think we need to say it, the price it feels a tad too high currently. $35 or your regional equivalent on iOS, it's actually 5 bucks or free to download initially. Sure, they've added a decent amount of content here from what I understand, but I'm not sure it's, you know, $5 to $35 worth of new content. That said though, look, you want something relaxed and you like the theme, this is an easy buy for me, and I do think even with the markup, you will easily get your money's worth. A good 7 out of 10 from me today, and it's for sure a great example of the fact there's a lot of great phone games out there that absolutely deserve more exposure, and they deserve to be in the Nintendo Switch library. Will you be adding this one to the library then, or are you holding onto that cash? A shout out then to the patrons of the channel, who are going above and beyond to support Switch Corner. It helps more than you know, so thank you all so much. Then hit subscribe if you love the Switch, as much as we all do here. Join our growing family, and I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone. Oh,